Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna continue working on the actual combat system. And yeah, let's just begin by um, creating a new event in Replicate Storage in our events folder. Let's call this remote event um, just combat. Then let's <clears throat> uh, create a new local script in here, but first let's make a folder for that just to have it a bit more organized. Let's also call this folder combat, then create a new local script. And let's rename the script to um, combat client. Okay. In here, we first want to get some services again. This time we want to get replicate storage. We want to get the user input service. Um, then let's also get the player. Oh, you don't even Oh no, we can get we can get him. So uh, let's get the player first by doing game get service players dot local player, and the character is just player dot character. Then let's also get the events folder. Oops, didn't want to open that, um, <laughs> but um. Yeah, let's get our events folder. So local events equals to replicate storage dot events. And then let's actually get an event. And that is gonna be our combat event. So local combat event equals to events dot combat. This event that we just created. Okay. Um, next, we want to um, do is input service dot input um, again connect function. Oops, not all of that, but like that. And then from that we are gonna receive an input and is typing. Then if is typing, then return and. So as usually, um, if and we would be typing in like a chat box or something. We don't want to continue here. And then if key and not key if input um, dot user input type equals to um, enum dot user input type dot mouse button one. Then we want to fire our combat event remote event. So combat um, event and fire server. And we wanna send uh, fire that with swing. But we're not gonna actually use it yet. Um, the, we're gonna actually just um, work on the combat server event in the next part. But um, we're already gonna set up just some new attributes um, for here. And that is gonna be um, uh, yeah, our combo attribute that we always had at last episode. Then also a stand, stunt attribute that is gonna be holds from the beginning. And then you can copy this two times and change this to swing and attacking. Okay. And we can also actually create a new folder in the workspace. Call this folder players. Uh, or characters and then actually uh, puts our character so character the parent into that folder so character the parent equals to workspace dot characters just so we have all characters in the game in one folder all right and this was already this episode um, as I said next episode we're gonna start with the um, server, uh, combat server, 
Mm, that could be a bit longer. But yeah. Um, by that we are already have um, the M M M ones actually working because we are gonna use our um, module scripts that we used uh, in uh, that we made in the last episodes we, episode. So we yeah we are pretty much just gonna use all of this and make our comment server script with that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day and see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you.